everyone, welcome back. You know what we're playing and you know why we play it! Ah, ha, ha. That's the second time I've ever used that little opening sequence to introduce my Let's Play once again. Anyways, it is the enemy's turn. We are trying to save Kyra. We have about three and a half turns left, or four turns left, to save her. To destroy all the devices surrounding her. We must do it. We will do it. We will prevail! Oh my god, I'm getting a lot of control. Hello everyone, welcome back. So, we got all these uh, enemies annoying the hell out of us right now. But, uh, luckily this battle isn't anything too difficult. Because, well, I have my freaking Hawk Knight guys who can travel uh, extreme distances, cover miles and miles of terrain, and take out all the preceding enemies in the way. Woo, that was a mouthful. <sighs> I can't talk. I can't talk to save my life. Okay. So. Ow! <laughs> the poison tickled me. Alright, what to do now? What to do? That is the million dollar question. Well, I suppose... No, you suck. You can't reach. Um. Well, my good friend Zohar can move all the way the hell over here. And he can use another phase shift. Why not? Phase shift works well. We all know how it works. Covers extreme distances. Takes out all kinds of enemies and just kicks a monkey's ass. Oh, what? Oh, I thought that thing survived for a second. I was like, oh my god. Tell me the stupid tower survived. That would have been a mess. Oh boy. Okay, now what? Well. Amen, Mr. Skylord Amen. Actually, before I do anything, you, my little girl, will use another healing circle. Cause Sarah's so badass like that. Oh yeah. And one thing I haven't shown yet that I really should show is Sarah's attacks because she can do some uh, pretty nasty damage herself. So don't don't doubt the girl. Don't doubt her. Alright, Amen, you're done. Darius can move on up as well. Um. Eh, you're good. Groggy. Groggy! Oh, Groggy! It's time to wake up and eat your breakfast! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Step into a Slim Jim. Step into a Slim Jim. Grog has leveled up. All right, Slowpoke uh, Clint can move. What did it move? Uh, one little, st one step a second. It's almost embarrassing. Diego's gonna die! Oh my God, Diego! Holy crap! Um, all I really wanted to do with Diego was, well, we will use an ultra healing. So all I really want to do with Diego is grab the treasure chest. My God. You gotta make it so difficult on me. Ooh, 142 heal. That is ridiculous. Alright, Diego. Go get the treasure. What do we got? What do we got? Goody, 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 goody. Uh, L mask. I'm assuming it's a light mask? I don't know. I guess. Elony! Face shift! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Use that face shift. Phase the enemies a little bit. What do you got, Eleni? Don't die. Okay, 49. 43. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. But it's better than nothing. Ash Lember to the rescue! Ashy boy. And one thing I forgot to mention, um... One spell that I haven't mentioned yet. I got. You'll see. I have Fairy Light with Ash. That's a self heal. Well, Fairy Star is just like that, except you can also heal within two spaces uh, another friendly ally. Yeah. Come, Slowpoke. Done. And by the way, guys, this is actually the last battle of the chapter. After this battle, we end the chapter. We go to chapter five, and we get even closer to the end of the game. Pretty, pretty close. Um, a little bit left, and the game will be over. Oh, yeah. I'll say maybe another 
20 episodes or so. I would say about 20. That sounds about right. Not sure on the exact numbers there, but whatever. Don't matter. Oh god, this guy sucks. Those, that stupid demon guy uses that Thunderball ability, which will reach both Ash and my luck, Eleni. Yay. God. Oh boy. Oh my god. Wow. Ash has five health left. How did I survive? Get out of here. That's crazy. How the hell did Ash survive? Wow. I should be dead. <laughs> Finally, something right went my way. Oh my god. You know how ridiculous that is that I'm still alive? <laughs> Wow. Ah, groggy. How the hell am I still alive? Five health. Wow. All right, Eleni. Face shift. Kill them all. Revenge. Bam. Wow, I cannot, I cannot believe for the life of me that Ash survived that. That is ridiculous. I mean, that is just insane. Unheard of. Wow. Okay. Diego. 23. Diego, you went. You, Ash, went. Actually, he didn't go yet, but we're going to heal first. So let's get Hugs over here and do an ultra healing. And get everybody healed up. I think that's targeting Ash. If it's not, I'm going to screw myself. Heal them all! Wow, I cannot believe that. I should be resetting the game right now and re-recording it. Because I should be dead. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, that's just <laughs> luck. Wow. Alright. So Ash hasn't gone yet. Anything you can do, Ash? Well, sort of. Um, you can do a rolling fire and hit the Death Angel. Not the best thing to use, and Death Angels are strong against magic, but any kind of damage you can do is better than no damage. At least that's my theory, so go with that. Okay, Slowpoke. Well, first of all, let me think about this for a second. Amen! Wee! Amen can't reach. He's too slow. Zohar can't reach. Well, he can, but what's the point? Archer. Grog! And Sarah, of course. And I just realized I didn't get that treasure chest. Oops. Oh, well, let's do a cure and get rid of the poison on Grog. Sweet. I guess we're going to have to use the slow-ass Clint to go get that treasure chest. Oh, you haven't gone yet either, Slowy? Slowpoke hasn't gone yet. Everybody's done. Enemy's turn. Moving on. We're almost done with this battle. What you got? Please. Save it. Death Angel! Oh no! Ow! Well, that's not very nice. Kyra, no! She's gonna die! Oh my god. I think this. I think I have two turns left, and then she falls into the lava and dies. Yeah, you're worthless, we know. Heal. Ultra healing! We get one. We get a really cool spell, by the way, with. Um, uh, with Hugsley a little bit later on, called uh, Supreme Healing. 
And it'll literally, it costs a lot of magic, but it literally heals every single one of your party members. <laughs> it's pretty insane. It, it'll heal, I think it heals... Yeah, it heals every single one of your party members. For, um... I think it's almost all their health. Yeah, it heals them all. It's like 30 magic, and it doesn't matter the range of where your party members are at. It'll just heal everybody. So it's kind of funny. Kill it! Thank you. Wow, you leveled up with the 17 experience in that game. Pretty pathetic. Alright. Um, you can move up. Use a Dark Star on that. Finish that device off. That leaves us with one device, and we should be good. Boom! Oh yeah. You leveled up too? It's pretty sad how I'm getting levels level ups on these uh, 13 experience or whatever it is. Dragoon, you still can't reach. Oh my god. Ugh. God. What turn is it? It's turn 6, and I gotta win by turn 8. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna end the turn. And this is my final turn. So if Clank can't reach that treasure chest this turn, well then he fails. He's pathetic. Get it. There you go. He can't reach it. Kill it. What do we got? Life Orb! Yay, that went to my deep boat. Okay, let's finish this battle once and for all. Good job. And that, my friends, is the end of the battle. Yay, we won! We saved Kyra, barely! You see how I chose the treasure chest over Kyra? The treasure chest is more important than getting the Kyra. That's right. Well, hey, she shouldn't have betrayed us. That's her fault. You know, she has only herself to blame and no one else. So there, eat that, punk. I don't deserve to live. You traded something like the Royal Ring for my miserable life. But we couldn't let you die. If we let you die, we wouldn't be any different than hell. Besides, everyone, we deserve a chance to redeem themselves. Everyone deserves a chance to redeem themselves. Blah, blah, blah. Are you saying I can start over? Of course you can, because we are the nicest people in the world and we trust everyone. So let's fight together. Clint, I'm sorry. Because you, we can't escape from the clutches of the evil monsters. Thank you. I was born into a royal family. We were royal. And I was royal, but we were poor as dirt. And now my loving parents were very happy, but then things changed. And I am cool. My mother, father, and sister were all killed in riots, and I became cold. It's true. Looted the homes, killed innocents. But the Emperor wants to repeat the tragedy. Whatever we do, we've got to stop him. But what do we do? The Emperor has the magic stone and the royal ring. We're doomed. What can we say? There's nothing to do. There's still a way. Speak up, you jackass! I ins inscribed on the ring is a message. It is the language of the Berupan Empire. I believe he gives the coordinates of a place in the Torog Mountains. What could be there? I have no idea, but we might as well give it a try. To the Torog Mountains we go! Alright then, let's head to the Torog Mountains. Yes. End of chapter 4. The Torog Mountain Range. Located on the far northern border of Ishtari. From ancient times. It has been called the home of the gods, and as of yet, no man has been able to dwell for long upon its cruel side. Placing their last hopes for the overthrow of the Empire upon the ancient script engraved upon the royal ring, Ash and his companions travel north by sea to this harsh land.
Meanwhile, after finally obtaining the Flame of Judgment, powerful forces were at work within the Empire. Oh yeah! Well guys, we are all out of time for this episode. Join me next time as we get started on the next to last chapter of the game, Chapter 5, The Legacy. See you guys next time. Bye.